Byron George Stewart, also known as Torty, of Mondeley St. Paul St. George, a well-known tailor and long-standing member of Comanchero Steel Orchestra, passed away on Monday 17th May 2021 at the age of 86. He is survived by his wife, Amiran William Stewart, children Anthony Stewart, Adasha Andrew, Curtis Mitchell, Tessa McQuilkin, and Cecil Noel. Siblings Telma Robinson in the USA, Emery and Lawrence Laurie Stewart. Grandchildren Demal Bullen, Ethan Andrew, Ivan Peters, Ariana, CJ and Nikali Mitchell, Segan and Joshua Noel. Daughters-in-law Nikisha Boney Mitchell and Anne Edwards Noel. Son-in-law Ron Andrew. Sisters-in-law Dorothy Stewart in the USA, Ansilk Evans, Rhonda, Rolda and Devadney. Brothers-in-law Len, Terry, Anthony, Raleigh, Peter and Derek Williams. Many nieces and nephews including Donald, Annette, Chanel, Christelle, Janice, Avis, Kenneth, Shireen and Earl Stewart, Velma Victor and Bernard Bourne. Other relatives and friends including Gemma and Renee Stewart, Tara Eastman Charles and family, the Williams, McQuilkin, Mitchell, Bruno, Lambert, Jones, Scott, St. Bernard and Noel families, Teresa Redhead and family, Dennis Punch Philip, Terrace, James G.B. Bruno, and neighbors and associates of Mondelez and St. Paul's, the Comanchero Steel Orchestra family, and members of the Steel Band fraternity. The funeral service and interment of the late Byron George Stewart, also known as Turti, of Mondely St. Paul's will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Laurel Veronica Hazard of Vincent St. David, who resided at Creighton St. George, passed away on Saturday 8th May 2021 at the age of 83. She was the mother of Dawn Williams and Bernadette Beverly Tate in the US, Paula and Justin Hazard in Grenada, grandmother of Ryan Hazard Damien Williams, Rick Hazard, Tonya Williams, Jamon Nichols, Javel Hazard, Brandon Tate, Jada Lacqua, Jalen Hazard, and Maya Hazard. Great grandmother of 18, sister of Winston Braffitt, aunt of many including Desmond Gittens, Maureen, Miranda, John, Robbie, Paul, Glennis, Angela, Lindsay, and Val. Many other relatives and friends including Trisha Thomas and family, the Braffitt family of Richmond Hill, Vincent's and Grand Roy, the Ashton family of Richmond Hill, the Hazard and Miller families of Vincent's, the Celestine family, Brenda Jones and family, Pauline George and family, Patricia and Raymond Greenwich, Septimus Bullen, Mrs. Charter, Michelle Welch and family, Marilyn Chase and family, and friends and neighbors of Vincent's and Creighton. The funeral service for the late Laurel Veronica Hazard or Vincent St. David, who resided at Creighton St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Alistair Joseph Young, also known as Paley of Duquesne St. Mark, a well-known bus and truck driver, former employee at Public Works, Colonel Springwater, and Barry's Engineering passed away on Friday, 7th May, at the age of 74, left to mourn his wife, Mavis Young Nee Barry. Children, Risha, Joshua, Jamil, Leon, Ali, Alwyn, Alston, and Alista in Grenada, Alison in England, brothers and sisters, Ralph, Roy, Austin, Lloyd, Ben, Catherine, and Rolda in England, Kelly, Anselm, Selby, Rona, Toilin and Alan in Grenada and abroad. Twelve grandchildren, two great grandchildren, many aunts and uncles, including Auntie Esme and Auntie Mildred, many nieces, nephews, and cousins, too numerous to mention, in Grenada and abroad. Brother in law of many caretakers, Benita Barry and Florence Cyrus, many other relatives and friends, including the David, Young, Bartholomew families of Duquesne, Resource, Chantimel, and Nonparel, the Williams family of Victoria, Gemma, Diali, Jeffrey, and family, Jermaine Trotman, and family, 
Lynette Cox and family, Audrey Wildman and family, pastor and members at Duquesne Bible Holiness Church, members at the Catholic organizations in Duquesne and Victoria, friends and neighbors of Duquesne and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Alistair Young will be held privately. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Dorothy Charles Sylvester, also known as Fatty of Balthazar St. Andrew, passed away on Wednesday, 5th May, at the age of 62. She was the wife of Joseph Sylvester, mother of Rhonda Philip, Chanel Sylvester, Jesse, Kenroy, Ashlyn, Keyshawn, Kenisha, and Kenrick Charles, adopted mother of Dawson and Anselm, stepmother of Janelle Joseph, sister of Anthony Charles, Agatha Caliste, Dalton Philip, Brenda Alexander, Norland, Norlana, Lydris and Lois George, mother-in-law of Desmond McSween, Mary and Denise Charles, grandmother of 20 including Sabrina Philip, Kenesha Cridlin, Shondell Sylvester, Ashlyn, Kishana and Kentrell Charles, great-grandmother of three, many nieces and nephews and cousins, other relatives and friends including close friends, Lloyd Nelson, Katrine George, Ashley Warming Canada, Brenda Fleming in Trinidad, Rita Phillip, Shanda, the Richardson, Charles, Clark and Fortune families, St. George's Market vendors, and the farmers of Cloche, Lapa Tree, Maribel and Pearls, close friends and relatives of the surrounding areas of Balthazar, Saab and Maribel. The funeral service and interment for the late Dorothy Charles Sylvester will be held privately. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Beatrice Winifred Boatswain, née Coutine, also known as Hot Chocolate, of Union St. Andrew, a well-known trafficker and market vendor at the Granville Market, passed away on Thursday, 13th May 2021, at the age of 87. She was the mother of Selwyn Boatswain in Trinidad, Yvonne Boatswain, and Slim Boatswain, also known as Bradman, Gordon Boatswain, also known as Zico, all in the USA, Alvin Boatswain, also known as Tola, and Eric Boatswain, also known as Bay. Grandmother of 17, including Siobhan, Nikita, Noreen Francic, and Loris Lewis, Carrie Ann Boatswain, Alicia Caliste, Tennille Thomas, Aaron Pear, Calvin and Royan Neptune. Great grandmother of 13, Aunt of Josephine and Twine, Agnes Edwards, Loris Philip, Agnita Collymore, Jeanette, Leon, and Sebastian Coutain. Mother in law of Anne Marie, Sandra, and Emmanuel Boatswain. Her caregiver, Decima Lewis. Many other relatives and friends, including Dennis John and the John families in Antigua, the Sheridan and Coutain families of Union and Post Royal, the Boatswain families in Grenada and Cariacou, the Colimo families in Trinidad the Walcott families of St. James and Union, the Lewis families of Richmond and Ladigue, the Mitchell family of Ladigue, the Edward family in the USA, Alderone and Pearl Shares, Reynald and Amigo, and friends and neighbors of Union, Ladigue, Post Royal and Grenville St. Andrew. The funeral of the late Beatrice Winifred Boatswain, née Coutain, also known as Hot Chocolate, of Union St. Andrew, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Fortune Joseph Andrew, also known as Glen and Sufferer, of Mount Royal Cariacou, who resided in Huddersfield, England, a well known Shakespeare mask player, passed away on Thursday, 6th May 2021, at the age of 66. He was the close friend of Evelyn Scotty King, father of Selena, Christopher, Courtney, Shannon and Dylan in England, and Glenroy, also known as Banger in Cariacou. Grandfather of two, brother of Gracelyn, Celine, Patricia, Ethlyn, Osbert, Edo, Nimrod and Bennett. Brother-in-law of many, nephew of Bellina Shakespeare, Christopher Quashy, and Elon Boatswain. Uncle of many including Shermaine, Lloyd, Lisa, Ed, Golden and Genwin. Caregivers Evelyn Scotty King and Lennox St. Bernard Cador. Other relatives and friends including the Andrew, Duncan and Williams families, 
the Amund, Botswain and Simon families of Tophill Mount Royal Carrier Coup and surrounding areas too numerous to mention. Close friend of Freddie Douglas, John Maguire, John McMeo, Bentley Thomas, Boeing Hector, Rudolph Ray and Reggie Hamer. The funeral service for the late Fortune Joseph Andrew, also known as Glenn and Sufferer, of Mount Royal Kariku, who resided in Huddersfield, England, will take place on Friday, 4th June, at Harp 305 Bradford Road, Huddersfield, England, followed by private cremation. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Erlin Paul of Paradise St. Andrew, who resided at Grand Arne St. George, passed away on Friday, 7th May 2021, at the age of 50, left to mourn her long-life partner Bernard Philip, children Lloyden, Jamie, Tonya and Anthony Paul, stepchildren Julta and Holly, grandchildren Rashid, Ceci and Antoine, brothers Aline Paul, John and Elvin Desant, sisters Teresa Thomas and Martina Desant, Sister-in-law, Joyce Desant. Nieces and nephews, including Josanna Warren, Jeremy, Randy, Sharmella, Lindra, Indra, Raphael, Michael, Smallboy, Jiad, Keith, Raston, Trevor and Tariq. Other relatives and friends, including the Paul, Alexis and St. Louis families of Paradise, the Hannibal family of Paraclete, Julie and Merrill in Canada, Judy Batiste, Rena McMeo, Lauren Edwards, Sanji Chatline, and neighbors of Grand Aunts and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Erlin Paul of Paradise St. Andrew, who resided at Grand Aunt St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Judith Celestine Pear of River Sally St. Patrick, who resided in Trinidad and in the United Kingdom passed away on Friday 30th April 2021 in the UK, at the age of 89. She was the wife of Anthony Pear, mother of Hazelan in Grenada, Ian in the USA, Patrick, Yvonne and David in the United Kingdom, grandmother of 18 including Kelvin in the UK, Edison in Trinidad and Tobago, Ayana, Deandra and Iandra in the USA, Tasha, Cindy, Kiron. Yolanda, Julian, Radisha, and Kriston in Grenada. Great-grandmother of 15. Great-great-grandmother of Trozel. Aunt of many including Sandra, Audley, Perry, Alistair, Merle, Rolda, Natasha, Cheryl, Catherine, Alex, Keith, Ashton, Debron, and Diane. Other relatives and close friends including the Grant and Celestine families, and friends and neighbors in the United Kingdom, River Sally, St. Patrick, and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Judith Celestine Pear of River Sally, St. Patrick, who resided in Trinidad and in the United Kingdom, will be held on Friday, 4th June, in the United Kingdom. Arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Sylvester Emmanuel Alexander, also known as Sylvester Drayton and Scotchy, of La Mode St. George, passed away on Tuesday, 25th May 2021, at the age of 75. He was the brother of Agnes, brother-in-law of Godwin. Many other relatives and friends, including Pastor Marcus Christopher and family, Pastor Davis John and Yvette John, Mrs. Rita Wilson and family of Creighton, the Drayton, Purcell and Harris families of La Mode, Paperman, Neil Redhead, Alison Sam and family, Nicole Gooding, Annette Tellisford, Martin Modest and Ma Cox, the boys by Super and Scratch Shop, and many other relatives and friends of La Mode and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Sylvester Emmanuel Alexander, also known as Sylvester Drayton and Scotchy, of La Mode St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Carmen Mary John, also known as Mac Hems of Florida St. John, passed away on Sunday 25th April 2021 at the age of 94. She was the mother of Alwyn Elisha John, also known as D-Daddy. 
grandmother of Silburn John and Nava John Frank, great grandmother of Kadeen, Jaden, and McNeil John, grandmother in law of Lancashire John and Randy Frank, sister of Gordon Simeon of Beaton, sister in law of Margaret Simeon, aunt of many including Henva, Shem, Charlene, Lisa and Stephen, Anslem, John and Abraham, Velma and Kathy. Many cousins, other relatives and friends in the USA, England, Canada, Germany, Trinidad and Grenada including Mammy Joy, Mrs. Joseph also known as Dodo and Tala. The funeral service for the late Carmen Mary John, also known as Mayor Cams of Florida St. John, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Bernard Lee of Douglaston St. John passed away on Monday 31st May 2021 at the age of 60. The funeral arrangements for the late Bernard Lee of Douglaston St. John will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Selwyn Frederick, also known as Comfort and Selo of Guava State St. John passed away on Thursday 27th May 2021 at the age of 76 the funeral arrangements for the late Selwyn Frederick also known as Comfort and Selo of Guava State St. John will be given in a subsequent broadcast funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes Neon Michael Kingsley McMeal also known as Flipper of Vincent St. David passed away on Friday 21st May 2021 at the age of 27 the funeral arrangements for the late Neon Michael Kingsley McMeal also known as Flipper of Vincent St. David will be given in a subsequent broadcast funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes Gloria Veronica Bean Patrick of River Road Housing Scheme St. George passed away on Sunday 16th May 2021 at the age of 63 the funeral arrangements for the late Gloria Veronica Bean Patrick of River Road Housing Scheme St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes Margaret Cynthia Joseph of Park Lane St. George died on Sunday 23rd May 2021 at the age of 82 the funeral arrangements for the late Margaret Cynthia Joseph of Park Lane St George will be given in a subsequent broadcast funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home Pauline Mary Magdalene St Paul née John of Hermitage St Patrick who resided at Tempe St George passed away on Tuesday 18th May 2021 in the USA at the age of 65 The funeral arrangements for the late Pauline Mary Magdalene St. Paul, née John, of Hermitage St. Patrick, who resided at Tempe St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Veronica Mona Joseph of Brazan St. George passed away on Thursday, 13th May 2021, at the age of 59. The funeral arrangements for the late Veronica Mona Joseph of Brazan St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Glenroy Thomas of Moya St. Andrew passed away on Monday, 26th April, at the age of 36. The funeral for the late Glenroy Thomas of Moya St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lacqua Brothers. Funeral home. Earl Springer Ford, also known as Duke of Fontenoy St. George, passed away on Sunday, 16th April 2021, at the age of 55. The funeral arrangements for the late Earl Springer Ford, also known as Duke of Fontenoy St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Kaylin Ashlyn Thomas of Lafayette St Andrew, a former student of the St Mary's RC School and student of the Paraclete Government School, 
died on Friday, 14th May 2021, at the age of 10. The funeral arrangements for the late Kayleen Ashlyn Thomas of Lafayette St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. St. Louis Joseph Collins, also known as PC and Pappy, of Mount Plaisir St. John, former assistant superintendent of Her Majesty's Prisons, passed away on Saturday, 15th May 2021, at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late St. Louis Joseph Collins, also known as PC and Pappy, of Mount Plaisir St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Edward Niles, also known as Statue of New Hampshire St. George, died on Sunday, 2nd May 2021, at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Edward Niles, also known as Statue of New Hampshire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thanks for watching. I'm Evangelist Joan Patterson. Amen. And I'm here to encourage you in the word of God. I know it's not easy when somebody lost their loved ones. My deepest sympathy to all those who lost their loved ones. But all is not lost. No. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who died on the cross of Calvary. Amen. According to the book of Romans chapter 12... Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, which is true Adam, the death of sin, which is both spiritual and physical, and uh, so death passed upon all men. For all were in Adam, we all come through Adam. For that all have sinned, and all born in sin because of Adam transgression. So death is something that will take place. We cannot run away from death. It will happen. But one of the things I want to encourage you that when it happens, we have the Lord Jesus Christ where we can go to and comfort our heart in him. Amen. Because the Bible said he is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And the most important thing is that when we die, we die in Christ so that we will live again in his resurrection. The Bible said that we must be born again. And once we do that, we know that if we die today or tomorrow, we don't have to be scared or frightened. We know that we will live again in him. We have full assurance that if we die in him, full assurance that if we die in him, we will have everlasting life. S brothers and sisters, members, friends, we must be born again in the spirit in order to have everlasting life. Don't remain there and just sit down mourning over every situation. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and seek him now before it is too late.